Look like you in that word this morning. <laughs> what you reading about? I was reading about Jesus doing miracles and talking about the lost sheep. And I had ended on Matthew 10, 20, where he said, For it is not ye that speak, but the Spirit of your Father which speaketh in you. Hallelujah. What did you get out of that? Uh, that God speaks to us and that he will give us what to say when we don't know what to say. Mm -hmm. And that they should take no thought how or what they will say because he will tell them what to say. Speak, Holy Ghost. <laughs> the Lord has used you today this time, daughter. Praise him. Hey, how you doing? All right, about to head out this afternoon, going to Walmart. I need something for this head. I went natural like, I wanna say a year ago. Yep, March, 2015. So mm, a little over a year. I'm allergic to most of the stuff that everybody just loves, loves, loves. I'm allergic to it. So I go to Walmart and sometimes I get my staples and then other times I try and experiment. So I'm headed out to get some of my staples today. My hair is wet, can you tell, see? And when I do my hair and it's wet, I like to throw this beanie on. But you know what? Honestly, I wear this beanie just because I like it. I wear it all the time. Don't say nothing. The girls are over here. <laughs> they know I wear this beanie all the time. Come here. So they're going with me. Kyla, Kaya. They can pretty much put anything in their hair. And it's so is that true? Did I just lie? Well, she can't put eco style in her hair. I can't see you. Come here. <laughs> okay, what Kaya can do? She can't put eco styler in her. Oh, that's right. Kaya's allergic to eco styler with the olive oil. What kind do you use? Oh, go grab it. I think it's right over. My arm feels like it's about to break. This is heavy. Oh, okay. Yeah, hold this up. Yeah, is it in frame? That's what Kaya uses. The eco styler with argon. Come on. Come on here, child. That's what I actually, I put on her. Are you close enough? I'm pulling her hair. Okay, sorry. That's that's what I put in her hair. Kyla can use the um give me that eco styler. Um uh, yeah, Kyla and I like this. This um eco styler with argon oil and and also that uh grab this for um, mama. Oil. Yeah, I, what did I say? Argon. argon. <laughs> um and then they love this their hair loves this stuff i don't know if the i'm looking in the viewfinder the child i don't know what i'm doing they like this uh a shea moisture coconut and hibiscus curl enhancing smoothie i can't use it i break out it's horrible and then even when i put it in their hair i itch i sacrifice because i love you <laughs> um but i'm going out to get some of the stuff that i can use in my hair so come on to walmart with us a new location I'm not really sure where the hair section is so but I kind of think that every Walmart is sort of constructed in a similar way I could be wrong that's my hypothesis let's see ah you know what reading is fundamental kids look at this you see that big sign yeah over there like ma'am the vision center that's where i need to go see if my glasses are working uh hair hair care okay i have set a budget for myself i have a 60 dollars budget because you do not come to walmart or target any other place but don't just go without setting a budget especially not when i get around hair products Maybe it would have been nice if I'd have got you a basket, huh? Yeah. <laughs> oh, isn't that nice? Kaya decided to help out. Thank you. Edit it. <laughs> Is it just me or do you have a habit of like not remembering where you park? <laughs> we did so great. I met my budget. Up. Oh, I see my car. I gave Kaya the keys. She's hitting this. This is the house button for unlocking. <laughs> this is Kaya. Okay. 
Well, congratulations. Are you safely in? Do you need help? <laughs> hey, just had dinner. Are all settled in. Had a pretty good day. You were with us when we went to Walmart today and uh, it's been somewhat of a long day. I'm kind of tired and was hoping to get to bed early tonight, but my husband and I, Kenya, we promised the kids we were going to go on an Uno marathon this weekend. These are two of my favorite people on the planet, <laughs> Kyla and Kaya. All right, what's one of your favorite things about me? On the spot, on Kyla. The spot. Say it right now. <laughs> yep. Is that is that a bad sign that they can't think of anything? No, well, we can think of things. It's weird to say it yeah. while you're here. <laughs> you know what? I'm gonna leave so they can make up something. <laughs> no, I do. This is terrible. <laughs> Hi guys! It's Kyla and Kaya and we are going to tell you our favorite thing about the woman you know and love as Deanna Hobbs. We call her mommy. <laughs> you first. Oh, okay, okay. My favorite thing about my mother is her quirks and how she's always humming and... <laughs> I messed up. <laughs> she's very understanding. And I don't know what else to say. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> Cause there are a lot of things I like about her. So I, how many things do I have to say? My favorite thing about her is her quirks and how she <laughs> moves my hands. I'm like, what is that? You're kind and silly. <laughs> you like hugs a lot. I love her quirks and how she's always walking around and humming just to entertain herself. And I love that she's caring and very loving. It makes it a lot easier when you mess up because you know that she'll forgive you. <laughs> and those are our favorite things about our mother. <laughs> Who told you to make bacon? The devil is a lie. Oh, Who told you to eat bacon? You. No, I didn't. Yes, you did. When? Uh, in my dream, you said, can you go buy some bacon and eat? So I ate it. <laughs> you know I can't eat bacon. You feel sorry for me? Yes, that's why I'm doing all I can to eat bacon for you. Oh, it's for me. <laughs> you know what? It's for me? Yes, it's for you. Okay. It's my sacrificial love thing that I do for you because I know you can't have it. So I subject my body to that filth. <laughs> Vegans, healthy. And strong. Well, this vegan is going to the store to get something that is not bacon. God bless you. I love you. I was pulling out of the driveway and my husband acted like I had ran over his foot just now and I panicked. It's terrible. I can't even think straight. Oh my goodness. I went vegan almost a year ago now. Has it been a year, girls? Yeah, almost a year, and so I'm not eating any meat, no dairy, and it's because I was having digestive issues, and I just talked to my doctor about it, and he wanted to put me on some medicine, and I was thinking, you know what, before I start popping a pill, let me see if there's something like natural I can do to combat what's going on with my digestion. So. That's how I ended up um, going vegan. And so now I don't have any meat, any dairy. And it was really hard at first. I mean, it does have its days, but when I find myself craving some meat, like some bacon, then I'm trying to familiarize myself with a, a little more of the vegan entree. So I'm gonna head to the store with the girls. We're gonna run to Wegmans and uh, Get ourselves, well, I'm gonna get me some because I bet y'all gonna be munching on that bacon with daddy, right? Little traitors.
looks delicious. All American veggie burger, Amy's, but it contains walnuts and I can't, I can't have walnuts. Walnuts, pecans, or pecans, however you say it, um, nah, I would be in the hospital, like need that pecan kind of bad, so can't do that. I made my selection I'm gonna go with the light life smart patties and I'll see how that tastes hopefully it's good and if not then I will know what I don't want the day I have any cheese slices yep we are pretty much done we're gonna be heading home if I can I will vlog how it turns out and let you know if my veggie burger and day of cheese turn out well. I think I'm gonna try and dress it up a little bit. I'm gonna saute some onions, some mushroom, you know, add a little flavor to it. Wegmans trip was a success that is the initial assessment when we get home and I try this veggie burger and this day of cheese then we will know for sure for sure if it has been a success so I'm opening it up let's see here there are two um, this looks sort of interesting the texture um, all right. Okay, so this is what the um, the Swiss day of cheese looks like. And um, yeah, I'll have to try it and taste it and see what it tastes like. I threw some onions and mushrooms on the griddle. Put a dash of olive oil. And I put a little mustard and ketchup on it. Let's try it. How's it taste, hon? <laughs> I ate it to the last bite. It got slightly better, but would I buy it again? I probably not. It it's either your thing or it's not, so I won't bash it. Because if you like black bean burgers, you might like it. Now my husband Kenya tasted it. He thought it was great. He's actually eating the one that was left because they come four in a box. So it just depends. It wasn't my favorite. Like had I not put onions and mushrooms on it and I don't think I would have been able to stomach it. So I'm not a fan of the black bean burger. And next time I'll try something different. But it was a fun experiment and at least I got to eat, right? It was good, babe. Mm-hmm. Tastes like a Whopper. You teased me and made me think that I had really like crushed your foot. What are you talking about? Really? Uh. <laughs> so that's what we doing now? With this face, do anything differently? You, Girls, didn't your father act like I had run his foot over? Yes. I was horrified. <laughs> he started. He started hopping yeah. around. Like I thought I ran his foot over in the driveway. I was. I had visions of whether his toes were going to survive and what the damage was. God don't like that. Ask for forgiveness. <laughs> hey, how are you? If you are a mom, 
Happy Mother's Day. If you're watching this on Sunday, then really cool because that means I got you exactly on Mother's Day, even if you're watching it afterward. Happy Mother's Day. Hopefully you are doing exceptionally well. I love Mother's Day. Not just because I get pampered, not just because of that, but I really reflect on Mother's Day. I, I thank God for the Hobbs children, all four of them. I thank God for them. It's a blessing. And I think about when I first got married, I got married when I was 21. So my husband Kenya and I have been married for 18 years. We got married January 17th to, <laughs> did I just forget? January 17th, not 2000, 1998. That's a mess. 1998, we got married. And um, I remember I, I, was, I was a virgin when I got married and I got pregnant like right away right away and um unfortunately I lost that baby and that miscarriage just tore my little heart up oh man I remember I was so excited about the baby because when I first got got pregnant I was just shocked I don't know why I was shocked because it's not like we were working not to have a baby but anyway I was surprised that I was pregnant and then when I finally absorbed it and got excited I was in my second trimester, thought I was out of the woods and um, had a miscarriage and all oh, that thing tore me up. I didn't want to eat. I couldn't sleep. Everything reminded me of the baby. Both my husband and I cried. That was, that was just ugly because I had gone to the doctor just to hear the baby's heartbeat, you know, for a, a routine checkup and they couldn't find a heartbeat. And I was like, what do you mean? Because I had been spotting. And I remember I had called my mom and told her I was spotting. And she told me it could mean something and it could not. And my doctors told me not to not really worry about it. But when I went to the doctor, sure enough, I had miscarried. And um, whew, that thing was just really, really difficult. And so they told me they wanted to be, they wanted me to go home and allow the baby to pass naturally through me. And I was in so much pain. I lost so much blood. I almost needed a blood transfusion. It was just a traumatic experience all around. And so on Mother's Day, I just kind of reflect on the goodness of the Lord and what a blessing it is to, to have children. And so if you're a mom, you are blessed. You are blessed. Be thankful. And that doesn't mean we don't have to juggle and we don't run into challenges. You know, life is life. But all in all, you are blessed to be a mom. What's the matter? My stomach hurts. You're not feeling well? Yeah. Well, we got a little cleanup. Caleb really wasn't feeling well. You feel a little better now? She got that out? Well, hopefully it was a one-time thing. You don't have a virus. Let me see. I don't think you have a fever. Hey, babe. Hey, boo. Yeah, you look nice. I like your haircut. Thank you. Turn around. Let me see. Mm-hmm. Got you looking real nice. Wait, so. Get me from my good side. <laughs> every side is your good side, babe. Uh, you know what to say, girl. Ha, ha, ha. Okay, so <laughs> how was your experience? It was great. It was a new barber shop. Um, it was really cool. The guy, the the owner of the shop, excellent. So, I think we found our new barber. I like your haircut. That looks nice. You looking clean. So, you like your new barber? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mommy likes that. You look handsome. All right. So now that Caleb is feeling a little better, had a little upset stomach. Got something you want to say? Yeah. Okay. Um, you're nice and you like eggs and you're funny and you're caring and loving. Aww, I love you. Look you too. Thank you. I'm funny. <laughs> hey guys, I snuck away for a moment. I got the camera. It's our little secret. Here's what I want to do. I want to give a special uh, acknowledgement to my wife. Acknowledgement. Wow. Anyway, just listen. This is for Deanna, my beautiful wife. I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day, baby. You are the best mother in the world. I thank you so much for the gift of the four wonderful children that you do such an amazing job 
at raising and helping uh, to cultivate such great individuals. I love you for it. I love you for all of the love that you pour into our family and everything that you do for us. You are the best. And I want to wish all of you, all of the mothers out there that are watching today, I want to wish you a happy Mother's Day. And I pray that your family lavishes you with all the love that you're so richly deserving of. This is your day. I hope that you enjoy it immensely. Now, as much as I would like to hang around, I've got to get back to my beautiful wife, the mother of my four children, that I'm so thrilled to be spending my life with. But here's what I need you guys to do in the meantime. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And down below there, make sure you subscribe and tell somebody about us. We thank you so much for tuning in again and walking with us on this journey. Take care.